find us at abbotsfordsmallbusiness.com or you can find us at our gmail address at abbotsfordsmallbusiness at gmail.com. Now, some folks might think, why would you get a gmail account if you have a website? You could put, you know, rick uh, at abbotsfordsmallbusiness.com uh, or info at abbotsfordsmallbusiness.com. The reason I like to have a Gmail account is because it's loaded with so many valuable features that you just don't get with uh, any other email programs. For example, did you know that uh, within Gmail you get a free documents program? It's not as full featured and rich as uh, Microsoft Word, but man, it does a great job of the basics and really all I need is the basics. It also has a free spreadsheet in there. It also has a free presentation software. And it has one of the most fantastic calendars I have ever seen. It's called Google Calendar. And what you can do is you can go in there and fill up where you're going to be and share that particular calendar to anyone you want. You can email it to them and if they're using Google Gmail, their calendar will sync with your calendar and you can see exactly what it is in calendar form and it'll even send you an email this person is going to be at this place at this time it's it's so handy so i live and breathe in gmail it's just probably one of the most handiest things and when you talk to the technical community they say you've got a gmail address yeah yeah well good perfect good on you so if you're going to go out and get a website say ABC Recycling. See if you can get the Gmail, abcrecycling at gmail.com. There's tons of storage. Oh my gosh. The, the, the storage that Gmail gives you is just ridiculous. And it, it's integrated with all of the Google products. Don't forget, Google owns Gmail and it also owns YouTube. So Google is the biggest, uh, the largest search engine in the world and YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So they got number one and two spots all sewn up. So for today's um, edition, we're going to show you how to, how to embed a video into your website. Oh, this is, you know, okay. When I, when I, I get so passionate about businesses because you can tell a story you can you can write it on text and then you can make it an audio podcast and put it up there as an audio podcast but the ultimate is doing a video so once you've got your video up then you can upload it to your to your website now you've got something you've got your own private television show really so let's go in here and we'll go to the dashboard Right, so this is the dashboard in here at abbotsfordsmallbusiness.com. Right, so I'm going to go. Let's do this. You're probably going to want to create a page for a particular video, correct? So I'm going to show you how to. We're going to do a couple of pages, and we're going to put video in those pages. So let's go to the appearance, right? Or oh, sorry, not the appearance. Let's go to pages. Right here. Got ahead of myself here. So you're at pages, right? Now, you see where it says add new? Let's add new. So now, here's where you are. Now, I remember a couple of podcasts ago, I was talking about these two buttons, either the visual or the HTML. Um, visual gives you a little, little different kind of coding here at the toolbar up here. And when I bring over HTML, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And what you're going to do is we're going we're gonna to capture a piece of code, the embed code of the video, and bring it over and put it on this new page that we're going to create. But you cannot do it when you've got the tab flipped over to visual. It will not work. It'll just sit there and it'll look like an ugly, well, I'll show you. I'll show you the wrong way and then I'll show you the right way because, hey, experimentation is, is good. So I'm going to leave that on visual and then I'm going to go to my YouTube and I'm going to grab, let's grab a video and it's going to be creating a WordPress site part one. So I'll bring that up. Okay, so it's going to start to play. All right, so I'm going to stop it. Now, down here where it says, see where this button where it says share? Well, you can share a video two ways in YouTube. Click on it. 
Now, you see this right here? That's what they call the short code. So if you're going to email someone uh, an email link and you just want to send the video, not in its complete form, but from a link, you would copy and paste this link to your Gmail or email and then send it to their email so they can open it up. Now, what we're going to talk about is the embed code, and it's really, really super simple. You'll, you'll say, oh my goodness, if I had only known this before. You see this little button here that says embed code? Okay, as soon as we click on embed, it's going to give you, aha, uh -huh. well, how about that? This is code, isn't it? See how it's blue? Now, take a look. Over here, it says, oops. <laughs> Okay, right here it says frame width, and you see see this little, do you see right here this little um, this little lesser sign and greater than sign? Well, this is code, right? And it doesn't mean a lot to you, but this is the way to to get the embed code into your page on your website. Now take a look. The frame, the width of the video is going to be 420 and the height is going to be 315. You can change these easily. Let's go down here. See where it says, whoops, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. See where it says here 420 by 315? So right now, that code up here says that. What happens if we press 480 by 360? It changes the code up here. You see that? Without you having to do anything. Say you want a larger video and you shot it by 640 by 480. Click on there and now you've got it 640 by 480. Now if you want it even larger, if you want, if you go really high def, you can click on the 960 by 720 and have those dimensions come up on your page. But remember, the larger the video, it's going to take up larger real estate uh, space in your website and it could go over the boundaries uh, or over the lines and look pretty ugly. So why don't we just go back here again we're gonna experiment right? We're gonna go 420 by 315 and because this is blue all you have to do is single right click and go copy right? and then we're going to go back to our add new page and let's call this um, WordPress. Uh, okay, so we'll call it creating a WordPress site. Okay, now watch this. Now remember, we said visual. We want to click on visual. Okay, so to to copy and paste it, all you have to do is right click again and go paste. Right now, you see that I frame width 420 by 315 embed YouTube da 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 the embed code. So we're going to publish that. It's not going to work, and I'll show you why. I will take you personally to the page and show you why. It's always a good idea to show the wrong way and then see the right way. Why not? Okay. Ah, so something else we didn't do. We forgot <laughs> to create the page. <laughs> oh. Right. oh no, we did that. Creating view page, change permanence, update. Okay, so up here we refresh. Hit refresh. Welcome. How come? How come we don't have uh, creating WordPress site? Change permalinks. View page. Okay, there we go. So it says view page, and there it is. Abbotsford Small Business creating a WordPress site. So here's the brand new page that we just put in, right? But look at the code. The code is still sitting there, really, really ugly, just exactly the way we copied and pasted. We don't want to see that happen. So let's go back in here. 
Okay. So, remember, we click on visual. We just take that out. Take it out completely. Now, click on the HTML and it becomes a different thing, doesn't it? Now, right click on it with your mouse and click there. And now, click update. Okay. Now, a little bit different scene is going to happen here. Now, you can always click on view page. So, let's go view page. See that? Oh, <laughs> that is beautiful. Look, it says Abbott's for Small Business at the top, and then creating a WordPress site, and there is your first video. Let's see if it works. So we click on it. Works like a charm. Works every time. Works like a charm. This is so much fun. I could do this all day. All right, so if you wanted to put a series of videos together, one uh, below the other, we could do it. So let's go. So I like to put, see where, where it's the iframe right here? Uh, the, the very last entry here on the, uh, on the code. I like to put it there and then just once or, or another. So twice, press it twice. So that way there's an even spacing on all the videos. Let's go get another video, shall we? So we're back to YouTube, aren't we? Okay, so why don't we go to uh, the video manager and get the second in the series? Okay, so creating your WordPress site part two. So you click on that in YouTube, and it's going to, of course, open and start playing. You go down here, remember, you click on the share button, correct? And then remember, this is the short code. You want to embed it. So you want to click on the embed. Ah, there you go. Five, six, now, isn't this interesting? Take a look. 560 by 315. Hmm. 560 by 315. Now, that's different size, isn't it? You know why? Because on this particular video, I have, I'm using the, the software program that came with the ProLogic 9000. So, I've asked it to video in a certain size. When I'm doing Camtasia work, like I'm doing when I show you the screen and then my picture down here on the little corner, that is a different size as well. So, you're going to be met um, quite often with different size videos, and I'll show you how to fix that. Some will be 16 by 9, some will be 4 by 3. But for now, see, this is, uh, this is by 16 by 9, I believe. But for now, let's just take this code and go copy and we'll go back to edit page now remember where we were down here so all we have to do is paste it now let's take a look again this this height uh, or the width on here was 420 by 315 and now we've got 560 by 315 well that's a difference of 140 let's see what it looks like so we'll update and then we'll go and view the page Interesting. See what's happened here? You've got one video that looks real good up top. Click on it. Okay, good. Then you've got another video that stretches the boundary right here, right? It's actually too big. All right, so because it's too big, we want to make it the same size. Correct? So let's oh, okay. All right. So let's go back. Let's let's try an experiment here. Let's go back and make this bottom video the exact same size as the top video. See where I'm going with this? Okay. So now you can change these numbers in here. All they are are height or width and height, right? So this one's 420 by 315. Let's do the same thing with the, with the bottom one. 420 by by 315. So all I have to do is change this 560. So I have to go back, right, 420. And then I click on update again. So now let's take a look at our code. Both of them are 420 by 315. Update again. And let's go visit the page. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Now both of them are exactly the same width and height. Looks pretty good, huh? So now you have a consistency to your videos when you're telling a story. If you're running a really, or you're trying to have a professional looking website, don't have one video big and then one video small unless you're trying to prove a point, right? 
unless you're doing something radically different. Most of all, people like to see continuity when they come to your website. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's go get a third. Get a third video. Okay, remember the rule that I did over here. I click my, my mouse there and I go one, two down there, right? Let's go back to, um, to YouTube. And I'm going to go back here to Video Manager. So let's do number three. Number three. So there's part one. There's part two. Jetpack and your first post entry, part three. All right, here we go. And there it is. Now you see, this is what I'm talking about. This picture here, oops, right here is where I was in Camtasia. And then the Camtasia fills out the rest of the screen. I really like this program. So we're going to share, correct? And then we're going to embed. Now let's take a look at the code. 420 by 315. Oh, exactly what we need, correct? So make it blue again. Go copy. Go over here. Edit page. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just, uh, we're, at, we're at the third video now, and I'm just doing exactly what we did for the first and second video. So I go enter and enter, right? Two spaces. Then I click my right mouse button and I go paste. Now, don't walk away. Don't grab a coffee and walk away because if you go and, and load the web page, that isn't um, updated yet. So always make sure that you click update. Let's go take a look at our page. Oh man, that looks good. That really does look good. And then down here, you, you know, people can leave a reply, right? That looks really good. Okay, so now here's what you can do. Let's go back and add some comments in between that code. Da, 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 da. Remember, you've always got to have to be on the HTML for this to work. When we put it on the visual, it just showed the code and it didn't do anything. The, tag, the HTML tag must be there. Okay, so if you want to add some comments, put, it, put your cursor mouse right there and just go one, two again. And then say uh, this, whoops, sorry, capitalized T. This is the first first uh, video. Hope you enjoy. Then, click update and let's see how the spacing is going to change. View page. There you go. Now, you can put this this um, text on the top or on the bottom. So this is the first video. Hope you enjoy. Now, here's an interesting little thing. Take a look at this. See this? When you are on your page and it says creating the WordPress site, that highlights, doesn't it? What happens when we click on it? Takes it to YouTube, doesn't it? Interesting. So there's a couple of ways you can trigger this to play. One is from, from right here and one is from right here. Mm. So if you click on this arrow right here in the, in the middle, you will have this code up here, Apps for Small Business, page ID equals 40, right? If you click on this one, creating a Word, WordPress site, it takes you to a different address, doesn't it? It takes you to the YouTube. Mm. So now, interesting, there's something to, to watch for and look for. So if you end up on YouTube, it's because you have pressed on that, uh, that writing up above. So let's go, let's go and take a look at this. So that looks good, right? Yeah. So we've put three there. So wasn't embedding easy? It was just, it, honestly, it's like falling off a log. The same thing, the, the same thing uh, is uh, very, very easy to do when you install a picture as well. But I, I love video. I mean, I've got a video blog, so that's my, my passion. So there you have it. So why don't we do this? Why don't we completely get out of here? And we will update this. And we will completely leave our WordPress admin place. And we'll also completely leave YouTube. And we'll take a look at our site. Okay. Alrighty. Done that. 
And let's go back into it. Da da da, do 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 do. Oops, Abbotsford. <sighs> Look at this. <laughs> 